Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting in my office surrounded by my inventory boxes and I thought I would do a ship with me vlog style video. So it is Monday, it's a holiday weekend, so I have a ton of shipping to get done and I just thought I would show you step by step my process and how I ship out my orders. So let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing I need to do is print out my shipping labels, and I like to do it from the Poshmark website, so I will pull that up on my computer and I will go through my sales one by one and just print out the shipping label, and then I will write down the item number that I need to pull from my bins behind me, so I make a long list. I pull everything at once, and yeah, let me show you my label printer. I use the Dymo 4XL. So this is the label printer that I use. I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it. And I'll link it down below so you can see what I'm talking about. But it is a thermal label printer, so you never have to replace the ink. And it also prints directly onto shipping labels. So inside here, these are just some sticky shipping labels, and you just peel and stick onto your box as soon as you are finished printing. I have my computer set up on my stand next to me, and and the Poshmark website pulled up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to printing, write down my items, and I'll check in with you in a minute. I just wrote down here on the notebook everything that I need to pull from my inventory and then as you might have seen I was writing on the back of the labels the item that way I know which item goes with which label and it makes it speedy for me to package everything up so now I'm gonna pull everything from my inventory and all my stuff is stored in these bins the bins are from Ikea I know I'm gonna get asked unfortunately they have been discontinued so the striped version is no longer available I am trying to find a replacement or something similar at least to recommend to you guys, but these are called the Pingla for anyone that might still have a few in their store if you're looking for them. But I'm gonna set you down and I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything. Everything has been pulled. I just make a pile on the floor right next to my desk where I'm sitting and gonna ship everything. And I also do have one pair of shoes which I sold. So I prepackage all my shoes in these priority mailboxes. I just have to stick the label on and it's good to go. All the stuff I need to package up. So let me show you my shipping supplies. 
I keep my packaging pretty simple. I use these printed poly mailers, which I order from Amazon. I will sometimes change up the designs. Right now, I think these avocados are super fun, so I've been using these for a little bit. And then I also like to add my brand to my packages. So I use these round logo stickers that I ordered from Sticker Mule. They just have my logo on them, and I put those on the clear bag before I put them inside this mailer. So I'll show you that as I go through it. I think I talked about Sticker Mule like two favorites videos ago or something like that. I talked about these stickers and if you've never ordered from them before you can actually get $10 off your first purchase if you use my link down in the description box below but they also run specials all the time so I recommend checking them out maybe signing up for their emails and you can test out getting some branded products and seeing if that helps your business but I just like the professional touch that it adds and I get a lot of compliments on them I don't add any kind of like thank you note or anything like that anymore I used to but honestly even when I get stuff like that in packages I just throw it away so I felt like um, it didn't serve a huge purpose. I've thought about adding the thank you onto my logo sticker, but I haven't done that yet, but it might be something that I do in the future. So for now, I'll show you. I just put that logo sticker on the clear bag and then I stick it in the printed poly mailer and stick the label on top of that. I do have some priority mailboxes next to me. So when I sell a bundle of a couple of items, like two items, maybe three, I can fit them in this smaller priority mailbox. It is number 1097. So if you you go on the USPS website you can find different size boxes and have them sent to your house but I like to use these for bundles there's a bigger one if I have a bigger bundle and the shoe box that I showed before but for majority of my stuff when it's a one-off item I will just stick it in the poly mailer but yeah let's get to shipping now I have my setup together I am just gonna show you how I ship my item super fast super simple I try to keep everything streamlined shipping to me takes like no time and that's what I like because I want to be working on other stuff so I have my stack of labels right next to me. I just pulled the first one off the top and it's a Lululemon skirt. I grabbed from my pile the skirt and it has the number on it like that. And then on the back is the um, suffocation warning that's on the clear bags. I'll link these bags down in the description box too. So everything you see, if you're wondering where I got it, I'm just going to link it below, down below so you can look and see yourself. I cover up inventory sticker with my branded logo so that way when they pull it out of the bag they see empty hanger and they know where it's coming from but I just take my printed poly mailer I take my item stick it in there and then I fold it over and that's what it looks like I take my label and then I stick my label right on there and it's easy like I mentioned before with the Dymo you don't have to cut out any of your labels or use tape so I'll just show you right there. That is what it looks like once the label is on there. And it takes less than a minute to ship an item if you have yourself organized and together. And that's why I like to do it this way because for me, shipping takes no time at all. So let's go ahead and ship another one. I'm gonna do a bundle so you can see that one. And this has two items. So it's got a plaid shirt and a thermal. So just grab those from down there in my pile. And again, I'm going to cover up the inventory number on both of them with a sticker. Each item has a logo sticker on it. And then since it's two items, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the box instead of trying to stick it into the poly mailer. I probably could fit both of those in there, but sometimes it's a little bit better of a presentation to use the box. I just stick that in there and like I said you can get these boxes you can pick them up at your post office or you can order them and have them sent to your house I like to just order a variety of sizes and have them at my house that way I have them when I'm ready to use them and then there's just a spot for you to put your uh, label on so then there you go that has the shipping label on it now and that one's ready now you have the general idea, I'm just going to speed it up, get all this stuff packaged, and ready to ship out.
single product. I just put everything in this laundry basket and I can add anything else if anything else sells before it is time to take this to the post office. There you have it, my whole shipping process from start to finish, and I definitely take the more streamlined, simplistic approach to it. It's more sustainable for my business, especially me shipping everything myself and then also having to do like listing and sourcing and all that good stuff, but I do say make packaging your own. So if you want to do more and do more of like the gift wrap, the tissue, you know, um, gift with purchase, if you want to do it, I say go for it. For me, this is what works best for my business. I do get a lot of great feedback that it is professional packaging. So I am very happy with that. Don't feel like you have to go all out, but if you want to, go for it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you want to know more about Poshmark and reselling and lifestyle and thrifting and all kinds of fun stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.